in this week's Red and White show. We start with a look back at our away trip to Swindon for behind the scenes inside Rovers match day. Now then, you alright? Right. <laughs> I don't mind, you okay? You're alright. Cheers. And there it comes. Yeah, you alright? Now then, good. 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 How? Chris? <laughs> yeah, right, mate.
This week, Jay McGraw went down to Wheatley Wanderers training, and there's a segment of a future video coming soon. I remember playing in these parks when I was growing up, it's mad. And just enjoying football. And then obviously I signed for Donny when, not long after. But when I was about these age, I was just playing, just enjoying playing football all the time. It's mad, it's crazy to think about it. Did you ever have players come down and watch your training or all like that? Um, do you know what, I don't think so, no. I weren't much around of that as a kid, but we loved it. You know, it's like, when you're these age, and all, all you do all, every day is play football at school, come and train and play football, play football on the weekend, it's all you want to do. So having footballers come down and speak to and join in and stuff, it's, it'd be amazing, like you'd be, in, you'd be in awe. Who would have been the one player you'd have loved to have come and train with when you were a kid? Oh, I don't know. I grew up just a massive United fan. So it would probably have been Rooney or someone I'd have wanted to come down and play with me. I just used, remember just used to watching Rooney every weekend for United, just running in behind, smashing people, wanting to score, wanting to win. And that's that's why all these are so competitive, because they watch football every week, come and watch us, and watch us and how much we want to win. And everyone wants to win really, don't they? Yeah. But it's good for them. It teaches you good skills in life and more importantly, getting out, staying fit, you know. So all that watching was there and you decided to be a centre half. I know, yeah. So all that watching strikers and wanting to score goals. Well, when I was these age, I was a striker. And then I just got pushed further and further back. <laughs> so. Checking you could do a job? Yeah. Up front? Yeah. I reckon I could. I don't think Joe Ironside would like me saying that. But I reckon I could do a job as a target man, maybe. Last five minutes, maybe. The Doncaster Rovers' bells are at the Eco Power Stadium. Here's Bells manager Kieran Toner discussing the upcoming fixtures. Kieran, you know we've got three games coming up here at the Eco Power Stadium. How are you feeling about that uh, as we head towards that? Absolutely brilliant. Um, you know, listen, this is a fantastic stadium. Uh, a, a real great place for the players to showcase their talent. And what I'm hoping will be a really supportive crowd. Um, so really urging all the fans to... Uh, to have that day out and, and support the girls in in their endeavours in, in what we hope will be a great occasion. Um, I think, you know, as a club, we, we're ambitious of where we want to go. Um, and playing in, in arenas like this is only going to help us realise where, where we want to be in terms of that. Um, so... I'm hoping for a really great occasion for these games. Um, it's great that the club are recognising what we're trying to do and giving us that opportunity to uh, to play on there. And again, I'm really looking forward for the girls to experience that. I know they've played there before, but um, you know, coming towards the end of the season, looking into or the back end of the season, really, but looking into what we want to do for next year and where we want to go and these standards that we've brought in and and really having the ability to showcase kind of the work that we've been trying to do as staff since I've come in uh, to allow the players to express themselves in, in that environment and hopefully gain a lot from it to, in, you know, confidence wise and also, uh, you know, supposed to show everybody who they are. I think it's a great opportunity, uh, especially in the women's game, for the girls to show, um, show themselves as individuals, um, you know, let people know who they are. Yeah, a little bit of pressure on that, but what a great occasion! You know, this is why we're in the game to play, to play at places like this, to be able to uh, go and enjoy it and experience it and create memories for themselves, their families, for the fans that are coming, for the club as a whole. Um, so I, I'm really looking forward to it, and we're really grateful that we have the opportunity to do that, and and great for the teams that are coming as well to be able to uh, to play in in that arena, and so. I think it's a win-win in all fronts, um, and I can't, I can't wait for it, really. If you were speaking to people who've perhaps not come down to see the Bells before, what, what could they expect? Well, I'm hoping they'll expect a good performance. Um, listen, the girls are so committed uh, to what they're doing, and sometimes I think we lose sight of that. We understand where the women's game is at the moment. We understand where Tier 4 is at the moment. The commitment that the, the girls make is incredible around their studies, around their jobs, to be able to turn up and, and give their all in training during the week, to be able to sacrifice their weekends, to come and play. Um, and, you know, it, it means a lot for me to be involved with a group 
that are committed to doing that and together with that. So, you know, I think there's an appreciation there for, for people uh, to understand what they do and the sacrifices they make. Um, but also I'm hoping they're going to see some good football. You know, we do want to be that sort of a team and, you know, we know that, that in, in certain instances, um, at certain places across the season, we can't play the way that we want to play. We have to play a different way. Um, but certainly on an arena like this, it gives us the opportunity to really showcase that, that footballing ability and, and also that, that, that kind of essence of performance, that brand that we want to try and create while still trying to win games around it. So I'm hoping they're going to see a lot from it. I'm hoping they're going to be, I don't want to say surprised, but, but pleasant, pleasantly um, encouraged by where the bells are and what we want to do and really still only scratching the surface of it. So I'm, I'm hoping it's going to be a really good foundation and springboard for, for more to come. And of course, that, that's what I want. I'm always wanting more. Um, and, and just an enjoyable day a winning day for the games, a uh, performance day, and, a, and a, great, a great memory day. And finally, a behind the scenes look at James Maxwell signing a new deal at Rovers. <laughs>